hello everyone and welcome back to flo's corner so today in this video i'm going to be showing you how i make russian buttercream and how i make swiss meringue buttercream now the swiss meringue buttercream i'm going to be using a no heat method i do have a video showing a no heat swiss meringue buttercream method using meringue powder but in this video i'm going to be showing you using pasteurized egg whites now pasteurized egg whites just literally speeds, speeds up the process with not having to heat up the egg whites and kill off the bacteria. That's the whole point of the Swiss meringue buttercream when you are making it overheat is to kill the bacteria through the egg whites. We don't want to serve that. So using pasteurized eggs just lets you skip that step and makes it a lot easier for you. So let's get right into it, shall we? The ingredients for the no heat Swiss meringue buttercream consists of eight sticks of butter. You can use unsalted or salted, some powdered sugar, pasteurized egg whites, and vanilla extract or any extract of your choice. You can use your stand mixer or hand mixer. In this video, I'm going to be using my stand mixer. Make sure to have your whisk attachment, your paddle attachment, and a spatula. So first we want to start with our pasteurized eggs. Make sure you give it a good shake before using. You will use one cup of the egg whites. Now you will pour it into your stand mixer bowl. A quick tip is to have your egg whites sitting out for 15 to 20 minutes before using. I feel that this yields better results. Now we're going to take our powdered sugar and combine it with the egg whites. You are going to be using the whole 32 ounce bag so you can pour them in increments instead of all at one time to minimize the mess. Now you're gonna take your whisk attachment and screw it on. You want to start your mixer on a low setting first because you do not want the powdered sugar to go all over the place. So start on a low setting and then gradually work your way to a higher setting. You want to continue mixing until all the powdered sugar is incorporated and then you are going to let the mixture mix for about 10 minutes until you get stiff peaks. If the mixture is runny, it is not ready yet, so still continue to mix it. Once you achieved your stiff peaks, now it's time to add in your butter. This recipe uses eight sticks of butter, so what I like to do is cut up the butter and add them little by little. Once all the butter is incorporated, then you're going to let it mix for another 10 minutes. It may start to look curdled, but that's okay. Just keep on mixing. Once it starts to firm up, then we are going to remove the whisk attachment and we are going to attach our paddle attachment and add our vanilla extract. The paddle attachment will help eliminate some of the air bubbles while also giving it a very velvety, nice, smooth finish. After two to three minutes, now you have this really nice, smooth texture. Here I'm gonna be using a 1M piping tip on this cupcake that I made so you can see the texture of this buttercream. The buttercream pipes so beautifully. This no heat Swiss meringue buttercream is one of my go-tos, especially if I'm pressed for time. I use this buttercream to ice my cakes or when I'm making my buttercream flowers or you can use it for any decorations you would like on your cake. I like how fluid it can be but also how firm it is. Now we will move on to our Russian buttercream. And for the Russian buttercream you're going to need two sticks of butter, salted or unsalted some vanilla extract, and a can of sweetened condensed milk. You want to add your butter to the bowl. This recipe works well when your butter is at room temperature versus being cold or chilled. Add your whisk attachment. Mix on medium speed until your butter becomes light and fluffy or pale in color. 
It will look really yellow at first, but that's okay. Just keep on mixing. Here you will see that the color is starting to fade. This is what we want. You are going to pour your condensed milk in increments because we don't want the fat and the sugar to separate. You will mix on a low speed and repeat the process. It may look like it's giving you a curdled look, but that's okay. Just continue to mix. Once it's firm, I like to remove my whisk attachment and add my paddle attachment. Here I'm going to be adding the vanilla extract. You're only going to mix this on one minute with the paddle attachment. And now you have very smooth and creamy Russian buttercream. Here I'm going to take my 1M piping tip again and I'm going to pipe this cupcake. This buttercream is very fluid. I do like to ice my cakes with this buttercream. I don't feel that it's firm enough to ice the cupcakes like I like to make. You can pipe them, but I like my piping um, buttercream to be more firm. Make sure to refrigerate your buttercream and add your labels. On the left, we have our Swiss meringue and on the right, we have our Russian buttercream cupcakes. Okay, so for the Russian buttercream, I have a quick tip. And the quick tip is when you are making it for a customer, you have to let them know that you are going to be using Russian buttercream in particular because the sweetened condensed milk has a very distinctive taste. And if someone is not really aware of the taste, you're going to taste it and it's going to taste a little funny. Um, me personally, I do like sweetened condensed milk. For some others, they may not. And also you have to worry about people if they're lactose intolerant or however. So uh, the Russian buttercream does have that sweetened condensed milk taste. If the person that you are making this cake for does not know that, that may be a thing. So please make sure when making your Russian buttercream that you disclose that information to your customer. So my views on the Russian buttercream is that it is a very nice fluid consistency that's wonderful when you are icing cakes. It goes on very nice, very smooth. It's easy to wrap around the cake and things like that. But for me, I do not like the consistency when piping um, cupcakes like floral cupcakes or even the swirl cupcakes to me I just feel like it's too loose of a texture to actually sit on the cupcake I've even tried it where I piped and I put it right in the fridge and I just don't like the way it looks on the cupcake I look it feels like it looks too smooth and kind of takes away the definition of it so with the Russian buttercream I'm all for icing the cake and things like that it works wonders so that's a go for that one. Swiss meringue buttercream is always going to be one of my favorites. I love to ice cakes with it. I love to make cupcakes. I love to do all kinds of decorations with Swiss meringue. I really like the no heat method much better. I do feel like it takes less time and I also get the same um, consistency and the same taste when I do it without heat versus doing it with heat. So, I mean, who doesn't want to, you know, kill one step? Hey, it works. Shortcuts help, okay? But um, I do love uh, Swiss meringue buttercream when I'm making floral um, buttercream flowers. Of course, I will always love my American buttercream. I think the American buttercream is the best with the firmness of the uh, cupcakes when you are making your buttercream flowers because you really want your buttercream flowers to really sit up, look nice, and stay presentable and things like that. And it holds up in the heat very well. So yes um if you like this tutorial please let me know in the comments if you ever made russian buttercream before and if you ever made um swiss meringue no heat style thank you all for being here thank you all for tuning into my channel i hope this tutorial helps and i will see you all in my next video bye